So it's the final beer of the session. Yes. This is the uh, last one of our current uh, two-week stint in the fall uh, beer kind of process, and we've saved the heaviest for last. Yes, we have. I'm uh, very excited about this. I've done a little reading. You picked this one up. It's right in, well, I think both of our wheelhouses, but I'm always excited about uh, things that involve barrel aging. Yes. So that's what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we are AboutBeverages.com. And the beverage we are about today is uh, the Wake Up Dead Imperial Stout from Left Hand Brewing. And uh, the reason I thought at least this fit into our seasonal theme, it's probably a little, maybe a little darker. You don't necessarily think of stouts, but if you look at this graphic or the graphic that Andrew has posted up there, it's, uh, it's very Halloween yeah. looking. Very, yeah, definitely. Very scary. Ooh. <laughs> and Waking Up Dead, you know, that sounds like kind of a... a at least Halloween season sort of thing going on. So yeah, no, I I definitely agree. And like said, very excited. Like said, love the Russian Imperial Stout. Love that style. And you throw barrel aging in there. I say what time? <laughs> <laughs> I say what time do I need to get let's there? Let's be there. Let's try. Let's try that. So very excited. Uh, Left Hand Brewing Company. They're no stranger to our show. We love them. They're great. Like I said, we love their fade to blacks. We love a lot of their other things. Uh, they've missed with an Oktoberfest here and there, but overall. Right enjoy them quite a bit so uh what have we got here for the specs we've got uh, price we've got uh, uh actually 5.99 at mcgee road liquors get out of town 5.99 5.99 it's right, there. it's right there on the cap oh wow it still is there actually yeah. <laughs> yeah. wow five and this is a like I, said, I looked on their site over 12 months this has been I, aged it's pretty amazing uh, I, yeah. i'm finding this hard to believe <laughs> no, okay. i know We'll have to see if it's yeah if the flavor uh, you know lives up to the hype. So yeah, that's true. Uh, alcohol, what are ten point two? Whoa, this so this is definitely uh, Keith. You were kind enough. You grabbed the you broke out the after dinner kind of glasses a little bit here, which we just did finish eating. Well, they're your after dinner glasses. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I broke mind, them out. Well, you you si- you sought them out of my cabinet. <laughs> that's right. I brought them out <laughs> with the more sifter and snifter type uh, style, I should say, and. Uh, Anything else we need to say, or should we get right into this? Um, no, it isn't, well, they have some tasting notes, I think, right? But it's just that, yeah, just aged for twelve months, and yeah. uh, but that's we're gonna let you know our tasting notes, and then we'll see if they compare, yeah. I guess. But good morning, you've woken up dead. <laughs> that's <laughs> the tagline on the website. Woo. Yeah, Woo. and they're out of uh, Longmont, Colorado. That is correct. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, their fade to black volume four will be out soon. Oh man, I cannot but wait. We don't know what, and we don't know when, but hopefully soon. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it on podcast right here. It's going to be a redo of Fade to Black Volume 1, but it's going to be a nitro. Oh, wow. That'd be delicious. I'm telling you. We mentioned that on an earlier podcast, and uh, I got a hint at that point from, uh, I think it was on our actually on our Facebook page, that someone, they actually posted a message. They said, oh, no, it was, uh, one, it was actually the podcast where we did their nitro. They said, oh, that's an interesting idea. So I'm mm. just saying. Oh, maybe we planted. Just a, maybe you planted the seed. I'm just saying. Maybe I planted a seed. That would be nice. Even if I didn't, if you just want to send me a bottle of the volume one, I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Still one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, oh, me too. Me too. Well, it's definitely. There's a little brown in there. I was. Yeah. Gonna, I wanted. I wanted to. You know, say, "Wow, that's the dead of night right there." I wanted to go. Yeah. Wanted yeah. to go with some. Uh, you know, different things like that. But it. It's not. It's. S- very dark, but it's yeah. still some some uh, brown hint yeah, down there. Blackish some, brown. Yeah, definitely well, brownish black. I guess we'd say. Yeah, <clears throat> eat a snack with brown and black. Ah, <laughs> uh, Doctor Zeus. Not a lot going on. In here. Pretty Do smooth. Get? I'm getting I'm getting some kind of notes. Is there like some fruit in there? Like some cherries or something like that? Like for some reason I'm getting some notes of that. A very with high. Yeah, red. Maybe a strawberry or some kind of. Something like that with, uh, I'm fruit. getting a little bit of the vanilla. I'm getting a little bit of that in there. There's a little chocolate. Um, yeah. But not. Maybe some very light wood. But like I said, mostly actually for some reason the fruit is kind of what comes out to me. Fruit and then into those other things. Chocolate, vanilla, and a little red fruit of some yeah, kind. Like yeah, a ch- chocolate, like a dark chocolate covered cherry yeah. or something like that okay. maybe. But mild though. Still mild. Not yeah. Like it, it doesn't jump out at you. Like, no. Whoa. Or, you know, or. But yeah, cho- actually, chocolate covered cherry would be a, a good a good comparison. I think a good good analogy there. Good, good, good. I get some of the fruit. Yeah, in there. Yeah, I definitely get the fruit. Um, I, and I kind of like I said I, I think I'm getting like kind of the dark chocolate, like that. There's a little thinness to it. 
It's a little thinner than I thought it was going to be. I thought it might be a little heavier in the body. Yeah. Which it seems a little thinner on that side. And the carbonation's a little more lively than I thought it would be, too. Once again, front of the tongue, yeah. sort of uh-huh. strong. Exactly. There. But then that fades out and it goes into the kind of the nice fruit and then into like some darker notes of chocolate. There's not a lot of roastiness. There's It's more toward the sweet. And it has that, sa- it does have a sour at the back that kind of sits. A little bit. It's more, a it's little a little bit. farther back than some things we've yeah. had as of late. Yeah. Uh, it's a little farther back. I don't get a lot of, well, unless we're picking up on the barrel. Didn't say what kind of barrel is that maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't, be, get, I don't, I don't really uh, get a lot of barrel or wood or anything like that. Do you? No. <clears throat> no. Like I mean, maybe the vanilla sometimes does play a part into that. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, into that kind of thing. So I'm getting a little bit of that. I'm not getting anything like overly woody. No. But usually also barrel aging does kind of do a nice little rounding out of everything, kind of smooths everything out a little bit. Yeah. Depending which, which on I what think, kind of wood. I think these flavors could have been a lot heavier and sharper, especially that fruit. And I think they are kind of getting a little bit of a, you know, they're taking a little bit of the edge off, which is nice. I don't know when something is called wake up dead. I think of it's going to be kind of heavy and dark. it's not it's actually a milder stout for me. Yeah, I think so. I mean the maybe fl- milder than what I was expecting. The flavors the flavors themselves are are quite are quite strong. The aromatics, I should say, the the upper part of the soft palate kind of the flavors, those kind of things, those are a little bit stronger, but the lower end is a little bit on the lighter, smoother side, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Like I said, I don't want it to, you know, you don't want it to be all super heavy. Right. But but right. definitely, uh, like I said, yeah, a little bit lighter than I thought reading that, barrel aging, all these things. I thought, this is going to be chewy. I'm going to have to get a spoon, <laughs> perhaps, and like, you know, kind of. So the, so that's kind of a little bit of a backseat. Yeah. But the flavors themselves, every time I take a drink, and like I said, in the, there's little al- notes of alcohol in there, which is which is nice, though. It does seem to serve... All of those flavors yeah. going to the back, which is nice. I guess, yeah, the, the carbonation is, is you know, pretty intense on the front. But overall, it's just a, it's a smooth sort of stout in a way. I mean, it's there's the notes of flavor, but it's not really like, whoa. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know, hard to describe, but not super, um, I guess, like I said, just, bit, I mean, we've said this already, all the... The name, the barrel aging, I expected it to be a lot heavier in my mouth, but it's, I mean, it tastes good. It's just not what yeah. I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's a little more on the creamy, lighter side. Yeah. Like I said, there's a little bit of that in there. And like I said, and then it, um, I'm getting like a little, the more sips I take, the fruit kind of dissipates and evens out a little bit. And I get a little bit of bitter kind of at the back. Yeah. There's definitely that stain. Which I didn't seem to notice as much at the beginning. No. But yeah, overall, I, like I said, I think I think it's I think it's good. It's definitely one you'd have to have a few caveats with, with like, well, you know, it's a little thin, you know. Yeah. But uh, no, definitely very very interesting. The so, cherry is yeah. the most dominant thing, which I was not ready for at all. Yeah. Which I think is kind of it's kind of unique. Yeah. And so so I like that part of it. But yeah, just could. That's always just use a little bit more, a little more body. But like where that stone something. stout, the chocolate cherry stout, the cherry they chocolate had. stout. Yeah. yeah, that I mean you tasted those they were heavy they were right. there that that called out for a scoop of ice cream i mean that it did. yeah and we did and we did <laughs> we answered the call we did answer the call i like i really like the aroma the aroma i think is is, is even my more my favorite part just because like i said it, it, there's yeah. more of a balance there maybe or something like that as, yeah, a, it's, as it's warming up it's it's uh, opening up a little bit more for me at, which is normal a little more body yeah, more body, please. More body, please. Left hand, body. Left hand, body. <laughs> and uh, no, I have no good tie-in for that. So just uh, head on over to the uh, website at aboutbeverages.com where you can check out the uh, tasting notes for this beer from Left Hand Brewing Company along with where it does hit on our recommendation scale. And at some point, you know, we need to do a barrel age podcast. Well, I, I think, think that's uh, been suggested to us I think at some Fitz point. Wanted to do that. Okay, at some point we need to do that. Yeah. Like I would love to just sit down and try like three or four yeah, different Eric barrel Yeah, Eric is not the guy for that. But I think, Fitz, I think Fitz would do a barrel age. Yeah. 
uh, yeah, podcast with us. Definitely. I'm sure Jason would do that too. Or Jason. Jason would Jason be happy. On. Yeah, Jason, find some barrel aged beers and we'll all sit down together. We'll and do it. And have a good time. You guys can talk home brewing and uh, we'll segue right <laughs> into barrel aging. Yeah. So. <laughs> the thing that we will not be doing for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, this took this beer took three years and it tastes like garbage. <laughs> uh, that's kind of how it goes. But anyway, uh, head on over to the website where you can uh, definitely find our links for all the things that we do. The Drink Database, uh, you can find uh, our links to our Twitter page, uh, Facebook. Uh, I don't really have a link for Untapped, but I, I do like going there. So if you have an iPhone or an Android, uh, you can definitely check those out, find us. All of these places, anything, just search for About Beverages. That is always the, uh, the name you can find us under. That's, that's us. That's us. And... Uh, yeah, but whether we like it or not, you should wake up dead and give it a shot.